right, guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skyline. So last episode, we built this airport. Hopefully we get to see, yep, there is a plane coming in right now. We can see that coming in. It's going to be using this runway, I think. So we get to actually see what it looks like when they're coming in. I don't know how many people are on here. 18 people are on this flight, so that's good to know. It just kind of uses the taxiway. Goes around and parks and then those things go across allow the luggage and stuff to go in people to get out well i'm assuming people are getting out i don't really know if they're getting out and there's 19 on it right now not sure what it's going to do maybe it'll take off Hard to tell. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to take off or not. Just kind of sitting there. Yeah, I have no idea what it's doing. Uh, and we have another plane coming in, so... This one's got 50 passengers. Oh, now it's leaving with those 19 passengers. So let's see what this one does. We'll keep it on for this one. Uh, we'll see if it gets off, people get off or not. So what we got, all right, so f most of them got off, only a few got on. I would say cruise ships are a little bit more efficient because they can, they actually send a lot more people in. Um, if we look over here, I mean, okay, that one's only got 36. <laughs> <laughs> they can hold up to like uh, 100 people, right? So I can't really see if there's any other boats coming in. Hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know. But as you can see, they can hold like 100 passengers. But they might take a longer time to come in. I mean, the planes seem to be coming in quite fast. So this one's got another 50. That one was that other one that just came in, so... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, building is on fire, and there's a building way out there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good for it, I guess? Not much I can do, it's outside of my city limits. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't even really see it. I wish those pop-up messages wouldn't happen with the... Um
I got some stuff done. Uh, a little hard to see because it's night at the moment, but uh, I did place down some stuff uh, for the airport. Uh, I found out there was some things that you could replace the topsoil with, so I placed that around the airport as well. Put a little garden area in here. Um, tried to work it in just as much to make sure that the planes don't, like, take it out or anything like that. Like, they, they don't take any damage, as far as I can tell, but... And we're, we reached airport level 2, so we can... We got a little bit extra things that we could place down, but I don't want to go too much into actually buying stuff for the airport because <clears throat> it's already costing us like 8,000 um, I think a week uh, it doesn't say per week uh, it could be per day I don't know how much but we're, we're fluctuating with money so I didn't want to um, go too much into debt but I did place down a metro line just so we can get another transport transportation set up so I thought we would maybe go down that and we could um, bring it out to so where are our metro so our metro goes this way right so uh, we could have this line right here or hold on a sec um Okay, so that one goes this way. We could put a metro line over here, I guess. How much is that going to cost? Uh, only 200 per week. What's about, what about this one? That's that double one, I think. Yeah, that's the double one. So we could put a metro line here as well, or even at this ferry service, maybe? Or we could put a land... Oh, we have that landmark too, right? So we could maybe put it uh, let's see here what would be the best for traffic might be able to put it somewhere on this side or there maybe that will allow them to get to the thing and then we could do like a line along here up to that point might even want to put another one in I'll probably put another one in over here somewhere there's nothing developed here at the moment but we could fit something in so we'll put
right, guys. So we got, um, I basically put down the uh, rocks along the shoreline. I did some terrain work and stuff. We might end up adding uh, a little bit more over here, but I'm not sure what I want to do over there just yet. So I haven't really done anything. I cleaned up the trees in that area. We'll probably do something in that area maybe next episode we'll see what we can come up with uh depending on what we got i did set up the uh metro station so they have to kind of switch tracks if they want to go to the tourism industry i'm not sure if that's going to make us any more money but it'll still be a um a nice little way for them to get over and it's in the same station so it'll be fine so and then i expanded that over the line over to the uh, aquarium which they can now get directly to the area over there We'll develop this area probably next episode and we'll see if we can't move some of this stuff around to align it better to the city that we have on the other side there. So we'll see if we can't fix that up right now. Um, basically, I need to move all this stuff. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost us to move all that, but we'll um, hopefully not go into debt too much. Uh, let's start with... Um, yeah, I'm not sure where I want to actually move them because we have that intersection at the top there and we also have it um that junction at the roundabout but i don't want to put it on either one of those per se because it'll be too far from the junction at the thing there where we're putting all these things right so um i'm not sure how to align this so we'll remove that road first um yeah, because if we put it at that junction, it might cause a traffic congestion there. And it's running pretty smoothly with the, the way that we have it set up. So I'm almost wondering if we can get it on to the other side. We'll see. Oh, actually, you know what? We could just uh, align it with the system with one of these roads over here. And then we can connect it up to the bottom part for the actual other road that's on the opposite side and then that way the traffic won't get congested over on this side and we can still put in an intersection at that one location over there so we can just basically run a line like this and then connect it up so that should fix the issue it'll still be aligned it'll just be um on the other side there so we'll have to bring it over a little bit and i don't know how much i need to bring it over so i'm just kind of ballparking it Hopefully this will work. So yeah, we can bring it right up to here, I think. So that will work, hopefully. And everything will fit back in aligned this time.
airport's doing really good. There's uh, some traffic jams by the looks of it. <laughs> this guy probably wants to get into that stall when there's the stall open. So unfortunately, just has to wait. But um, yeah, outside of that, we're getting quite a bit of people in to our city, which is great for tourism and stuff. So we'll be. Um, Expanding over onto this area. I wanted to try something a little bit different uh, when Next episode when we work on this area now Basically what I wanted to do was zone each individual place um, Kind of like how real city planners do the individual plots and stuff like that uh, We did that a little bit over in this area, which turned out really nice So like as you can see it like each individual plot has kind of been plot out and where everything needs to go and stuff So I'm, I'm almost wondering if we can't do that Over in this section as well to kind of figure out what would look good so maybe we can give that a try next episode and see how it turns out and see if the city grows or anything like that it's better than just blopping down an entire area like this is good for the when you first start and stuff but as you kind of progress i'm almost wondering if it's good to space out it a little bit more and give it a little bit more decoration so we'll give that a try next episode see how it turns out this industry over here is doing great there's no huge issues or anything with it so i'm almost wondering if that's actually the proper way of going about it so we'll see if that works but uh the other thing that we need to do tomorrow or the next episode is work on a finding a place for um waste transfer facility so i set up something uh but we need a facility for waste processing complex it gives off a lot of pollution so we're probably going to need to figure out what we're going to be doing with it now if we put it over here and do the industry area like i was going to do then we could save this area from pollution uh we would need to put it somewhere over here so it's not interfering with too much but we'll see what we can come up with and see what our options are tomorrow if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out